We are getting those reports of freezing rain in southern Kentucky. These pictures are from WHOP Radio in Hopkinsville. They said rain is freezing on uh, some surfaces, but not on the pavement as yet. Road conditions in that area are expected to deteriorate as the day gets colder. And take a look at these pictures shared by Kentucky State Police from the western part of the state. This is how I-24 is looking in that area. Troopers say travel is strongly discouraged, and if you do have to get out, make sure to slow down. Clarksville Power Company CDE Light Band says crews are on standby to help their 76,000 customers if ice causes trees to fall on power lines. This is a live look at Clarksville this morning. Our crew there is reporting just wet conditions. Montgomery County is expecting to see a quarter of an inch of ice or more. We spend a lot of time and effort making sure that our right of ways are cleared. That means like making sure that trees are cleared from power lines. Um, and if Closer to the time of storms, we have meetings with each department, make sure everyone is on the same page, that we're all staying in communication. CDE encourages customers to charge your phone ahead of time and have extra blankets ready in case the power goes out. And we are watching the roads where the commute today as travel uh, could be treacherous in Middle Tennessee. Christina Shalhoub joins us now with how the State Department of Transportation is handling this latest round of winter weather. Yeah, Nicole, it's been just a little bit of a busy year so far for TDOT, and we've only just started the month of February. This is the sixth winter weather event that we've had since the start of 2022. And as as chaotic as they've all been, TDOT has been prepped and ready for everyone, this one included. However, with ice as a major threat, this go around TDOT preps look a little different. It's similar to the way we prep for any winter weather event, but um, we do take some additional measures in making sure to prep other equipment. So things like chainsaws, backhoes, Great alls, all equipment that can be used to clear a roadway if you know ice brings down trees or power lines or box roads. And as always with tough weather situations like this one where road conditions can deteriorate so quickly, your best bet's to stay home if you can. Now, obviously some people can't, but if you have to be on the roads, make sure you're going slowly, paying attention and leaving plenty of space, especially for the salt trucks, the brine trucks, everyone who's trying to take care of the roads to do their jobs. 